you are watching electrical engineering lectures channel for more videos please do like subscribe and hit the bell icon for the latest notifications hello everyone in the previous video i have given an introductory tutorial on latex in which i have shown how to write a basic latex document consisting of equations tables and figures in this video i will be showing you how to add references in your latex document so uh, to add references in your latex document you have to use these two commands the first command is bibliography style file and the argument of this command is the style file name which has the extension of .bst and this file is used to specify the style of your references in your latex document and the second command is bibliography uh, and the argument of this command is uh, any file having .bib extension and this file actually contains your personal database of references which can be obtained from either google scholar or other cite citation resources so now i will move to towards the latex document so uh, this is uh, my sample latex document in which i will show you how to add the references so the basic structure uh, remains the same it contains the document class followed by the begin and end document and it contains the title so this is only a sample line this is my first latex document so for example here i want to add a reference so first of all i need to make my personal database to have that database i uh, i need to extract the citation details from google scholar or any other citation website so now i will go to google scholar and for example i type here any terminology to just extract any reference let's say i put here software defined radio waveform and i have got uh, a long list out of which i just select the first one as an example so you have to click this uh, comma marks and then another window will be opened and from this window you have to select bib text when you click bib text this text document will be opened and you just select all by pressing control a and then control c and copy it after copying you again go to the uh, your text editor which is text maker in my case and you simply create a new file and just paste here and after pasting here you just save this file and you can set any name for example i set name my bib file and don't forget to uh, mention the extension which is dot bib so now again go to the main file which is test dot text and here now you have to specify both the style file and the dot bib file the command is the same as i shown in the slide so it is bibliography style and here you will mention the name of the style file and this style file which is bst is always given by the general publishers on ed or any other resources so here i will be using style file given by elsevier and the name of that style file is els article dash num so i will copy the name and paste here so this is the name of the style file it has nothing to do with the reference it is just a style file and in the next line i will be writing the command bibliography and in the argument of this command i will be pasting the name that i have just written about the dot bib file it will be my bib file now where to mention and how to cite the reference so for example i want to cite my reference in this first line the built in command or the keyword for this is backslash cite after writing backslash cite you will use curly braces and inside curly braces you have to put the identifier which was written in the my bib file and this is basically the identifier which is shown over here and this name is automatically given by google scholar so you just copy it and paste inside the argument of this site command right so that's all for this particular reference 
Now, uh, after writing the uh, identifier over here, you have to select bib text from this drop down. You have to select bib text and then run one time and then you have to rerun it after selecting quick build from here. Now, when you select this, then you see this is the reference because I have added only one reference and it is as per the Elsevier style and this one is mentioned over here. Now, if I want to add another reference, so now I do not change, uh, I will not change the style file, but I will only add the second reference in my database and then mention that reference in the text and simply I will run the file again. So let me go to Google Scholar again and put another random reference. Let's say the second one from this list. I will click at this comma indication. Again, go to BibTeX and select all, copy and paste in that BIP file as a new entry. Now it is a confess paper. I will select this identifier. So after ref adding the second reference, don't forget to save the file and go again to the main file. And again, whenever you add a new reference, you have to run the file by selecting bib text from here and then select quick build and run one more time. So you see now in the main document, uh, still question mark over here, but that is not a problem. You just need to run the file one more time and the second reference is appeared over here. So that is how you add references in your latex, latex document. Each time you need to add a new reference, you simply uh, add the reference from uh, Google Scholar into your BIP file and run your file twice, first by selecting BIP text and then second time by selecting quick build. So that's all for, for this particular video. Thank you for watching.